Good morning, YouTube. So with today's video, let's dive into the luxury brand of Jaguar. Their cars, super luxurious. Completely out of my budget, but I got a whole fleet of Jaguar fragrances because they are cheapies. But today we're gonna to be talking about Jaguar for Men Privé, which was launched in 2015, I believe. It is a limited edition that you can actually get on Fragrance X, uh, Fragrance Buy, but also Fragrance Net, I believe, and it's classed as a woody aromatic. The note breakdown for this one here, lots of notes, so please forgive me. Top notes are gonna be bergamot, grapefruit, black pepper, and pink pepper, along with cypress, and the mid is gonna be Cinnamon, cardamom, lily of the valley, and jasmine, and the base is going to be musk, benzoin, vetiver, patchouli, amber, vanilla, and Virginia cedar. What do I get out of this fragrance here? From top to bottom, it's woody. The opening itself is very spicy and very woody. When you first smell that opening, like straight off the bat, you're thinking this is a man's man's scent. This is how real men is supposed to smell, like your alpha dogs. That opening is brutal. I actually like it, but it's a, a slug to the face. Like this just screams masculine. It's very spicy and very woody. Then as the dry down does proceed, it does tone down a little bit. The woods are still there, top to bottom, but there's still a little bit of that spiciness but throw in a little bit of the florals to soften up. This is not an overly floral fragrance, so don't, please, all right? Don't be afraid to try this one out. There is a touch of florals to soften it up a little bit. And then towards the base, you're still gonna get that woods. The spices are, are there a little bit. The florals, not really, but there is a little bit of vanilla. Not a lot, but enough to add a little bit of a creamy sweetness to it. The best part of this fragrance is the dry down. I, I like I would say the base because I love the the spite like the slight spices, the woods, but that vanilla with it is actually the best part of the scent. The opening is nice, but again, it's a slug to the face. So less is more on the applications because longevity of this was solid. I got seven to eight hours projection in that first hour is quite heavy. So I would probably say no more than three sprays and you're good. After like the, the one hour, two hour mark, it becomes moderate. This does have a mature feel to it, all right? So I'm thinking someone who's 40 and up would appreciate this one a little bit more. It does have a little bit of a an older man's feel. Generally when I mean mature, I'm thinking it's more of a mindset and how you carry yourself. This one, unfortunately is a little bit more of an age maturity. If you're in your 20s and you want to rock it, by all means, but you're probably more of an older soul to begin with. This is more of a fall all the way to colder spring days. It's daytime, nighttime. It's actually very versatile. So dressing it down to dressing it up, daytime, nighttime, which I already said, but business casual to a semi-formal event. It's a good signature scent for a guy who does not want to spend a lot of money. So speaking of money, you can get this for about 20 to 25 dollars Canadian. So when you convert that to USD, that's like 17 dollars USD. In the end, what do I think of Jaguar for Men Privé? This is definitely better than the Imperial that I did with Rush. That one there is like uh, Fahrenheit without the petrol note. I don't like that fragrance all that much. There is quality to it, but for me, it's just didn't work on my skin, it's too herbal, and it is a woody fragrance on top of that. But this one here is more of a woody, spicy, with a touch of florals and a little bit of vanilla in the dry down. I actually like this one quite a bit. And you know, I'm not like like an alpha dog, I'm not like a, I'm not your traditional man's man at all, but this is one that I really do like and that I do recommend that you look into. So it's very versatile, the longevity is great, the price tag, you can't go wrong, I am the cheapy queen. Because Ross from TLTG took that crown, you, oh, that bald-headed prick. But, you know, he's doing his thing and I can't take that away from him. So, in the end, if I were to have to give this a rating, I'm not really big on ratings anymore, but I would have to give this a 4.5 out of 5. You know, just all around, just very versatile, price tag, longevity. And it's somewhat easy to wear, like the, the opening, again, just be careful. But yeah, that is my review of Jaguar for Men Privé. 
Any other reviews that I've done from this brand, they will be in the description box below. And because I'm wearing this awesome hoodie from my buddy JD Era, if you want to check out the video that we did together, it's actually Ferrari versus Jaguar. Check out this corner here. And if you want to see a smell right that I did with Rush, a part two, because it's actually pretty much like an update. Check out this corner here as well. And before you go, please make sure to give me one of these as I really would appreciate it. I thank you for your time. Take care, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everyone.